The Oasis Volunteer Fire Department is responsible for 23 square miles out here on the open range. And I don't know where these homeowners and these ranchers would be without them. Not far from the Simcoe Road exit, south of town, stands a fire station all by itself. We've had seasons where we've just, you know, ran the, the wheels off this thing, and then we've had others that have been, you know, pretty, pretty quiet. Bob Ruth, a Vietnam veteran and former fire chief of this small volunteer department, may be retired but still ready to lend a hand. Well, it was in my blood from years and years ago. <laughs> And over 20 years ago, Bob remembers how a few families decided they needed better protection from unpredictable prairie fires because they knew BLM fire crews have a lot of room to cover. They got together and they said, hey, we got to get something out here where we can protect ourselves. We can't rely on these people to come down. Jolene Hobde. I'm the one who's talking to on all three of these. Was one of those early homesteaders and now acts as the department's dispatcher, making sure every volunteer is checked in and accounted for when the bell rings. Do you know how important it is to have, to be building in an area that has a fire station, a fire district? Your insurance for one thing. The other thing is many of you have mortgages. A lot of places will not lend money, money if, you don't if you can't get protection. insurance and you don't have the protection. Jolene's husband, Jim, is in charge of the vehicles and makes sure they too are ready when the time comes. Sometimes we've had chunks of sagebrush burning stuck between the duels. We've never caught one on fire yet, but... Uh, <laughs> it's got some, like, radiator fin here. But what has caught on fire are vehicles that just can't get out of the way of the flames. And what's left over? Not much. These are all cars. Every car fire, I collect the chunk. And this everything. basically is molten aluminum that just went and ran. You know, I'm not sure which direction, but... So to avoid that happening to your car or home, or livestock, anyone can come to the department and walk through a display garden of firewise landscaping. Buckley's Quill, mock orange. Uh, it doesn't look like much now. Okay. Because like I say, it was ravaged last year, but mock orange has got good color to it and it's, it's, a, it's a pretty plant. Okay. Um, but yet again, it's drought tolerant and uh, it really doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't burn that, that badly. Remember, if you live on or near open spaces, have a plan. We're right in the center of... We're the epicenter. Of fire country. That's it. Yeah. To all volunteer fire departments in Idaho, including Oasis, keep up the good work. And they're always looking for volunteers. From the Oasis Volunteer Fire Department in Oasis, Idaho, I'm Don Nelson. Back to you.